Before you invest hours of estimating time and company resources chasing a bid, stop and ask, is this job worth pursuing? What's more expensive than losing a job? It's bidding the wrong one. Every hour your team spends on a low-odds project is time and overhead that could have gone to something better. In this video, we're going to walk through a proven risk assessment scorecard that helps you evaluate a project before you commit resources. We'll cover delivery methods, competition, labor availability, schedule pressure, scope clarity, and more. So you can make smarter go no-go decisions and avoid chasing bids that were never worth it. Before we even look at the individual risk factors, the first thing we assess is the project delivery method and who's requesting the bid. Along the top of the chart, we've got the delivery method. Like design build, design assist, and plans and specifications. Then down the side, we've got who the bid is going to. Like 1. You're the only bidder. 2. It's owner direct. 3. You're on a team. 4. AGC already has the project. 5. Or it's going to multiple GCs competing for the same job. Where these two intersect is your initial success probability. Just place an X in the box that matches your scenario. The sheet will automatically assign a pre-weighted risk score based on how favorable that setup is. You can change these values to match your risk profile by entering your values in the chart off to the right. The best case scenario? Design build and owner direct. Low risk, high success rate. The worst case? Plans and specs and multiple GCs, highly competitive, low odds, and high risk. This quick check helps you instantly know how strong your starting position is before you invest time estimating. Here is a breakdown of the most common risk factors you should consider. 1. Project complexity. How complicated is the job? Score from 1 to 10. 1 equals simple, repeatable work you've done many times. A 10 equals complex, custom systems, or unfamiliar construction methods. 2. Scope clarity. Are the bid documents clear and complete? Score from 1 to 5. 1 is equal to a very clear scope with solid drawings. 5 equals vague or incomplete plans that leave room for guesswork. 3. Client owner reputation. Is this a client you trust or one that makes life hard? Score from 1 to 5. 1 equals great client, pays on time, communicates well. 5 equals difficult client, poor payment history, or unknown. 4. Project location. How accessible is the site? Score from 1 to 5. 1 equals local and easy to access. 5 equals remote restricted, or high-traffic urban site. 5. Schedule tightness. Do you have time to build it properly? Score from 1 to 5. 1 equals plenty of time to meet deadlines. 5 equals aggressive or unrealistic schedule. We won't make you watch us rate all of these, so we'll speed through the rest and show you the results. You can also enter a zero for any risk item that won't be affected, and you can save multiples of this risk analysis calculator pre-filled out for each of your regular customers and just fill out the risk factors related to the project. Anything with a score of 5 or higher will automatically turn red. This default setting can be changed to any value. Remember that you can add your own risk factors to this form, and the form is fully editable. If you would like to get a copy of this pre-bid risk analysis calculator, just see the link in the description below. You can add as many risk factors as you like, such as permitting and regulatory challenges or past project experience with team as shown here. Jut insert more lines. After scoring all risk factors, the total points will be automatically totaled into three ranges that you can easily change to fit your particular risk tolerance as follows. 0 to 30 points. Low risk. Strong candidate. Pursue the bid. 31 to 50 points. Medium risk. Proceed with caution. 51 plus points. High risk. 
Think hard before committing time or money. Based on the risk assessment score, there could be different levels of managers or executives required to sign off on the project. This ensures that management agrees with pursuing higher risk projects that could end up being a waste of resources and money. The higher the risk factor, the greater the need for upper management approval to pursue. Remember, not every project is worth chasing. A structured risk assessment helps you focus on the right jobs, not just any job. If you want a copy of this spreadsheet, check the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our HVAC and plumbing estimating spreadsheets to streamline your construction bidding process. Check out our HVAC, electrical, and plumbing construction forms to help you run your business and explore our online courses for in-depth training. You'll find everything you need to level up your skills and efficiency. Links are in the description below.